on the evening of June 30th of 2004 in a maneuver that was so flawless and so perfect it seemed dreamt the most ambitious interplanetary spacecraft ever built called Cassini glided into orbit around the planet Saturn and at that point it became the farthest robotic outpost that humanity had ever established around the Sun. Now bear in mind that the object of this exercise is to get the spacecraft to Saturn as quickly as possible so that those of us who are involved in the mission are still alive by the time the spacecraft gets there. By the time we got there the spacecraft was screaming by and we actually had to slow it down in order to allow it to be captured into orbit so that we could take pictures because this brought us closer to the rings than we had ever been before and will ever be again, certainly in this mission, maybe even in our lifetimes. The most remarkable highlight of Cassini's exploration of Titan so far was the deployment of the Huygens probe. And on January 14th, a aerodynamically shaped flying saucer drifted on a piece of fabric through the hazy atmosphere of Saturn's largest moon and landed firmly on its surface. The humans had arrived in the outer solar system, 10 times farther from the sun than the Earth, and seven times farther than we had ever landed anything before. The probe descended for two and a half hours through the atmosphere. It measured pressure, it measured temperature, it measured transparency of the atmosphere. It took panoramic images on the way down. This picture was taken at about 16 kilometers elevation. That is the altitude that a jet airliner would fly from the U.S. to Europe. So this is the view that you would have out your window of Titanian Airlines as you fly across the surface of Titan. Quite exciting. And then finally arrival on the surface and this is what the surface of Titan looks like. The first time human eyes had ever seen a moon in the outer solar system. We have found on Titan a remarkable place, a remarkable surface environment that is strangely Earth-like, and we are now looking at a remarkable three years in the nominal mission, perhaps even a decade of exploring Titan and the rest of the Saturn system. Uh, with much to teach us about the origin of planets, the origin of other solar system, and perhaps even about the origin of life itself. My fondest wish is that ultimately we will see streaming video from every planet so that these mythic accomplishments of extending our senses and visiting other worlds will become as much of the fabric of our society as the Oprah Winfrey show is. And I think that this kind of media blitz would be a much needed antidote to the uh, constant reminders of bad news and human failure that we see all the time on television and could be an equally constant countervailing reminder of, of the good and the glorious that we can achieve if we set our minds to it. The exploration of our solar system is one of the signature enterprises of our time. We should be reveling in it. It belongs to us.